You want to be in the video? Do you? Oh, hello. Do you want to be in the little video? Do you? Or you don't look like you want to be in the video? If it was a monthly favourites video, I'd put you in, but it's not a monthly favourites video. No, it's a product empties video, and you're certainly not empty because I've just fed you. So, as you can tell, this is an empties video. I have a couple of lovely things that I've used up, and I always think if you're going to use something right up until the very last drop, then you really should just shout out about them because they're obviously a winner. So, I'm not going to ramble, I'm just going to crack on and show you what ones I've got. Now, the first two, they didn't come as a set, but they're in the same brand, so I thought I'd kind of put them in together, because they, they go pretty nicely together, and that is from the brand Neom, and Neom, it's either Neom or Neom, I never know, um, I hate it when you find things that you can't pronounce, but basically, they are the bomb, they are amazing, every single product that I've tried from this range, I have never, ever been disappointed with, their fragrances are just out of this world, I really, really like these two, these two are I actually picked up in TK Maxx as a real bargain. The first one I've got up is a candle. This one has, or had, a uh, Lang Lang, Frankincense and Patchouli and it was just, oh, they fill the house actually and it's, it's a real kind of indulgent, rich, kind of warm scent and it makes me feel like I'm at spa whenever I whenever I burn it. I'd love to get another one but they are quite pricey on the actual website so they're a very very good one for my birthday and Christmas list basically so the candle was great. Sorry I just had to reposition the camera because I was cutting off the blood supply to my legs and none of us want me to pass out on camera so forgive me if the angle's a bit different but I'm just going to carry on. The hand wash from Neon, this one was in Sicilian Lemon and Fresh Basil. I might have mentioned it in another product empties before and that's just because we've actually got through two of them and it, they're just so nice, they are so so nice. Not many people come out of using hand wash in the bathroom and actually comment on it and and this one I got so many comments and compliments I had to go back and get another one and we've already used it all up so I'm really really chuffed with them and you can't go wrong with Neon basically and Neon <laughs> I will. By the end of 2016 I will know how to pronounce this. If anyone knows how to pronounce it then please comment below because it would be really really helpful for future videos. Next up is from Soap and & Glory and it's their Sugar Crush Body Wash. This stuff smells just so yummy. I have to remind myself that it's a body wash and not to eat it. It's that nice. It reminds me of sweets mostly. Um, kind of like penny sweets or fruit salad sweets or something like that. But the actual leading scent of it is lime. And it is. it says zingy and it really is zingy. It's just so nice to use in the morning because if you're a bit kind of like me and you find mornings a bit difficult, using this really really woke me up and just made me feel really good. Who would have thought that a shower gel could actually make you feel good and make you want to start the day right but it actually does work. I've also got the um, leg scrub and the body butter in this so I'm still using those up but I think I might have to go back and get another shower gel because I miss my little peppy start to the day. Another one that's all about the fragrance is this perfume. This is Flower by Kenzo. It smells of palmer violets. I think it's actually listed as one of the high notes in it. Is it high notes? Keynotes? I think it's keynotes actually. High notes is musical. This is not a musical product. <laughs> It's got a poppy on it and I don't think it has anything linked with poppies in it. I could be wrong, I don't know, I don't make it. But um, all I know it for is the musky smell and the really, really lovely palmer violet smell. So if you like your sweet scents, your musky scents, and you like something that lasts for all day, then this one is a sure winner. And the packaging is really, really pretty as well. It's a clear glass bottle with, like I said, just the poppy on it. And it's just got a slight curve to it. It's just, it's really pretty. It's really pretty for your dressing table. I'm going to have to go and get some more because I really miss it. I really miss squirting it. I really miss squirting it, that just sounds wrong. Um, <laughs> moving swiftly on. 
Next up is a cleanser and if you are familiar with YouTube and the beauty blogging scene then you will have seen this before and it is the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. Now this has just completely and utterly revolutionised my skincare routine. I have really sensitive skin, it's problematic, it's combination, it goes dry in the winter, if I so much as look at highly perfumed products it just flares up. I have a history of rosacea eczema just you name it my skin suffers with it and this stuff has been so nice to use it's soothing it's got chamomile in it it's got rosemary in it it smells great I feel like I've been to the spa every time I use it and I loved it so much that I've actually gone up into the tube uh, container for it mostly because I actually feel like I can't get everything out of this because you can't take the nozzle off or open it or anything and I feel like there's a lot of product left inside so I went and got the tube so that when I use it up I can just snip the end off and scoop it all out. It comes with muslin cloths to use, you can use a flannel, you're not going to you know, combust if you don't use the hot cloth cleanser routine but it's just a great all round cleanser and my face feels really really clean and it takes all the makeup off and I don't have to scrub up my eyes too much, it's just everything about it is a winner. And last up is another candle, now this one I got in Primark of all places and you wouldn't necessarily think of them as candles you might do now actually because I think they're getting a bit more of a following of their candles but as you can see I burnt it down to the very very last bit like like you can see you can see tin there it's a three wick candle it was three pound fifty although I think they might have gone up to about seven pounds now but this was the sweet vanilla and coconut scent it is sweet again I obviously really like my sweet scents um, and I love anything with coconut in it as well and that lit while I was having a bath reading a book and putting on my Lizelle cleanser was just a great mix every time I go in I always pick up another candle because I think they're really really great value for money not everyone can spend 20 plus pounds on a candle so if you have a bit of a budget problem then go for this one go for that one go for any of the Primark range actually because I haven't found any that I don't like so that's it for my empties video I will be seeing you in about a week for my next one I hope you enjoyed this one don't forget to give me a lovely thumbs up and click subscribe and I will see you next time bye